The cotton swab, or more commonly called the Q-tip, has been around since the 1920s and is pretty much in every household in America. Uh, called the cotton bud in the UK, these have been around and been useful for so many different things. And you know, there's a bazillion uses for it. But we're gonna look today at just applications for a survival situation or for SHTF. But to be honest with you, most of these can be used in everyday situations as well. Cotton swabs, uh, very commonly called Q-tips. Of course, Q-tips a brand. Typically, it's a cotton piece of cotton wrapped around either on both ends a plastic, a paper, or wooden dowel. And of course, here we have medical um, cotton tips here for or cotton swabs. Used very much in a lot of medical, a lot of cleaning, and just a lot of different things. Comes in a variety of different types and brands. Uh, but one of the big things that cotton swabs are used for are to clean ear canals. In fact, that's the most common. But what's funny is doctors will tell you not to do that because it can damage your ears. Uh, but, you know, I still use them <laughs> and I'm going to continue to use them. The tip is a cotton fiber. Uh, the original Q-tip or cotton swab was actually cotton put around a toothpick. And that's what kind of got the whole thing started, again, back in the 1920s. Now, one thing we want to look at first is medical applications. Taking, you know, antibiotics, a triple antibiotic ointment like this, uh, putting it somewhere like this on a cut, and being able to put it without getting it all over your hand. You know, if you're putting it uh, with the mouth of the tube right on the wound, uh, that can contaminate the tube. And so this just gets it right here, and it allows you to, to apply it how you need to, and then you can bandage it up. Another thing that's very useful is to cut the tip and use one side. And if you have a cut, if you have bandage material, you can take it and you can pack it into a wound. Uh, and that way you can stop the bleeding. And so that's, that's definitely one of the uses, especially uh, like in an EMT situation or a paramedic. They carry these for that specifically or nurses. Uh, and so they can pack that wound with the tip. And of course, with the wooden tip, it really uh, is useful. You don't have to cut the tip off to be able to use it. One of the big problems with using the cotton swab to do this is if it gets blood saturated in it, the cotton swab can actually come loose from here and then get into the wound as well. I would recommend to use sterile cotton swabs if you're going to be doing that, uh, but it definitely does make a great tool to be able to do that. One thing too, take a little bit of water and put it on the Q-tip, and if you get something in your eye, especially like a gnat, you can actually pull this thing out and be able to do this without damaging your eye. Uh, I got a gnat in my eye the other day and this worked wonders. And a little bit of water and baking soda. You can use this as an improvised toothbrush. I'm not gonna demonstrate it, <laughs> but you get the idea. One thing about electronics is keeping them clean and being able to you know, keep all the grime and things like that out. Uh, especially with like a flashlight or electronics where it could get condensation or water in there. It can dry that out or you can put a little bit of sterile alcohol on here and just clean up your contact points. Of course, keeping the glass clean as well. Of course, you can use glass cleaner, same thing with the Q-tip, and it really keeps that glass looking good. And what that does is keeps the light transmission full, because otherwise, you know, you're gonna uh, hinder the light transmission. Using a little bit of rubbing alcohol on here too, not too saturated, and cleaning the contact points on your phone. Uh, you know, it's one of the things you don't really think about but, you know, we keep these in our pockets and dust and lint get in there and it can really cause a problem. And, uh, you know, communication is super important, so it helps to keep that really clean. The other thing is, too, is cleaning the edges, like hard to get edges. You know, you can wipe this down, but unless you're getting those edges, they can, uh, you know, just make it very difficult to see. Getting in between your computer keys is really one of the best ways to do it and it keeps it really clean, keeps dust and debris out. You may say this may not be a survival situation, and then again, it may be. Also, keeping that edge of the screen clean as well, uh, keeps it maintained, lets it last longer. You know, your computer may be the only source to get any kind of information, and so it's really important, uh, as long as you have electricity and you have internet. You know, keeping your zippers lubed and maintained, uh, you know, if you're just spraying some WD-40 on it, it can get on everything. But instead, just get a little bit on here, just hit the zipper. Of course, just wicking the moisture and being able to get just a little bit on the tip of a Q-tip is really important tool just by itself. And of course, this can be used for varied applications.
Keeping your guns cleaned is definitely something that you need to think about. Getting those spots that are very difficult to get. Keeping your guns maintained, very important. Also because this HUPS number 9 jar is almost to the bottom, uh, being able to get to it and having a you know something to get down in there so you can be able to get that. And two, if you have like grease or something just in the bottom of your container, you can reach down and get that out to be able to use it. Heaters, hair dryers, things like that that have a fan that pull in dust, you're able to keep that clean with a Q-tip. There's not really another way to do that. Uh, it really helps to get that cleaned out. And really, if you don't, it'll, it can burn the motor out. So this will just help prolong any of your uh, tools or anything like that that you use that are electronic. Here I have wood glue and it's been crusted over, and but the glue inside is still good. So I'm able to get to the glue, which is important, but also we can use this as an applicator because if we drop this whole thing of glue out, it would really be a lot more than I needed. And be able to hit that with the wood glue, just the areas I need, and then mate it up and repair whatever we need to repair. The cotton buds are flammable. They will burn and it uh, gives you just a little bit of a, a match really because sometimes lighters are just not the ticket and let's say you have a small candle that the wick is really small. It's going to be very difficult to light that with a lighter. Instead we can light it just like that and this still burns. Another useful thing is to take a little bit of petroleum jelly and just coat the tip of the cotton bud or cotton uh, swab. This too makes an excellent fire starter. And this will burn for a long time. And I mean this thing just keeps on burning. <laughs> the plastic burns as well so be careful that can drip down on your fingers. And some of the triple antibiotic ointment. This is also a petroleum product. And that way you can have your first aid kit and you can start a fire as well. So this is definitely another multiple use for your pack. It's a little windy out here so it went out, but there you go. Same kind of thing. If you actually separate those fibers, you can really get a big flame. Of course, you can take petroleum jelly, put it on each of your uh, cotton swabs. You can take them and put them in a Ziploc bag, and you have a fire starter whenever you need it. Uh, very much like more of a match than your cotton swabs. This stuff is great fire starter. Now here I have an old lighter, and it uh, needs lighter fluid. And of course, all this cotton material is kind of rough around the edges. Uh, you know, a cotton ball would probably work best, but in a pinch, you could take all the cotton fibers off of your Q-tip and be able to pack that in and this would give you something for the lighter fluid to uh, saturate. It may be rough but she still works. The Q-tip also makes a good stir. You know they're pretty clean in the packaging so it's not a big deal but if you want to use sterile that's fine too but definitely will get that sugar going around in your coffee. And if you're drinking tea you can call it a cotton bud. <laughs> Of course, there's a ton of other uses. You can actually add vinegar and water and take care of corrosion around a battery terminal. Uh, this is great for pet care if you have something you need to get to, you know, their ears or their eyes or getting to hard to reach places and just a bazillion other things. But the Q-tip is really versatile and again, it falls in line with using one item for multiple uses. And the great thing is, is Q-tips are cheap. So we have to give the Q-tip or cotton swabs a big thumbs up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic.
use sterile cotton tips. I would recommend though to use sterile uh, cotton. Now keeping your zippers, keeping your zippers maintained. Also a Q-tip if you, now also if you're out and about. And of course you can take the Vaseline, put it on the ends of each of the cotton buds. Or okay. So we have to give the Q-tip, so we have to give cotton buds 